the topic the world of the jinn is the one which tends to bring out the most people <laughs> which is why we chose it had we chose some other fiqh topic or something like this i'm sure we wouldn't see a quarter of the number of people who are here this evening this is a very interesting topic because it is an a topic that most of us don't really know too much about we have uh, grown up in different societies where there are many stories fables uh old wives tales all kinds of uh information or misinformation about the jinn and as a result most of us have a very garbled understanding of this world in fact uh myself uh when i was looking around for a topic to do my phd thesis on i stumbled onto this topic for the same reason that in spite of having studied on the BA level in Medina University on a master's level King Saud University in Riyadh all in Arabic studying the sources etc still the world of the jinn remained something unclear I had heard of course other information maybe that the average person doesn't hear from scholarly circles but even in the scholarly circles so called scholarly circles there is a lot of you know questionable material circulating so I decided to do my phd thesis on exorcism in islam the exorcist tradition in islam to get clarity on this area on one hand to get clarity and at the same time to provide in the uh we call them the orientalist circles where people are studying in uh, universities doing oriental studies meaning studies of the the east and the religions and cultures of the east there the image or the understanding of muslim belief concerning the invisible world around us is also very garbled because the researchers western researchers who have studied or who have researched the area of muslim beliefs in the spirit world they went to the various muslim cultures around the world from from india to south africa to indonesia to you know maldives all around the world wherever there are muslims and they questioned them about their beliefs and of course they got all of the confusion and the misunderstanding that most muslims have about this world and they wrote it up as uh scientific research into the culture of muslims and that's what's available in their circle so i felt it was also important to leave behind a document my thesis which would give 
a clear picture of the unseen world and the forces there, especially concerning the world of the jinn and how it interacts with our world. So I undertook this research traveling to different parts of the Muslim world, meeting with people who were dealing with the unseen world, the, the, the exorcists, those who were themselves practicing exorcists. And focusing particularly on those who claim to be treating these situations of, of possession, etc., in accordance with the Quran and the Sunnah. I restricted myself to those who claimed they were treating in accordance with the Quran and the Sunnah. Because there are so many other people who are involved in other practices. They don't bother to claim Quran and Sunnah. They're just doing their own thing. You know that there was no point in, to, in researching into those areas because I felt there would be, there's enough confusion out there already. We don't need to hear more. But I felt it was necessary to go to research this to get the clarity, the clarity of uh, this world for the benefit of Muslims, for myself first and foremost, for the benefit of Muslims in general, and even for non-Muslims, you know, who have this uh, mistaken understanding as to what our beliefs consist of. So when looking into the world of the jinn and some people say, well, you know, why even bother going to this area? You know, I know why don't we don't just leave it. You know, there's so many other things to occupy our, our ourselves with, you know, we have, uh, you know, Muslims being killed in Syria, etc., you know, and problems in Egypt, and etc. Why even bother to go into the world of the jinn? Well, reality is that on one hand, the Muslim community is continually uh, embroiled in this world. Not just the Muslim actually, but the world community. But the Muslim community issues are arising all the time. I can say that I don't think I have been to a single country in the world. And I've been to many, maybe 60, 70 different countries. We're visiting Muslim communities. I wasn't going to them for sightseeing, etc. I went to India maybe about 15 times and I never went to Taj Mahal. Okay. So it's not about sightseeing, but you know, meeting Muslims from all over the world, I must say that everywhere I went, people came with problems and issues concerning the world of the jinn. 